If you don't know Shy, get with it. I am going to be doing an essential trashy look. A look that I dub by the name Walk of Shame Trash. And it requires a few things. I would suggest grown out nails for this, pour le exemple, and hair that you have not washed in a while. And just for good measure, you know, if you already put a lot of product in it by now, and it's been like day three or something, just uh, put a little bit more in there. Hair's ready. I actually look like sort of cute for once in the beginning of a video, a makeup video. So we're just gonna leave the hair down for this. So the key to this look when it comes to the actual makeup, aside from like the clothes or whatever you choose to wear, is having makeup that looks like you slept in it. Makeup that looks like you put it on yesterday, went to a party, got all done up, and then you had to go to work the next day or you had to walk home from a dude's house. So that's what we're gonna go for. And it's actually one of my favorite trashy looks ever because it's so easy and it can be worn for pretty much any occasion. Like going to a business luncheon, going to the grocery store, getting gas, a family reunion, church, or like, I don't know, getting a venti frappuccino or something. The birds are going off in the back. I hope you can't hear them. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my makeup sloppily, of course. I'm not gonna do it nicely because we're gonna wipe it off. You want to use a an eyeliner that washes off easily you don't want to use a waterproof liner uh, i recommend this one because when it comes in contact with water it's actually quite beautiful very nice gradient going on so just very loosely do your makeup i'll give you an example right here like i'm serious it doesn't have to be great just do both eyes it doesn't have to be perfect because like i said it's gonna dry then you're gonna wash it off Okay, you know, get underneath the eye a little. Uh, oh my God, I look like a crazy person. Ah, I look like a raccoon, I look so scary. <laughs> Next, what you wanna use is also a non-waterproof eyeliner pencil. You want something that washes off easily, such as this. The Eye Coal by MAC, for example. Use whatever you want. Use drugstore makeup. What do you think this is? This is a trashy video. You think I want you to get like nice stuff? No. Use something that will smudge easily. Just go in, just tight line your eyes all the way around. Tight line the top. And then, same thing with mascara. You wanna use a mascara that will wash off easily. You don't want anything that's gonna give you a hard time. And also, um, don't get one that's like too, like get a mascara that kind of smudges a little bit. Like don't use a mascara that like dissolves in water. Like you kind of want it to like stick onto your skin a little bit. So for such an effect, I'm gonna be using the Kush Mascara by Milk and just, you know, apply. Okay, so now that you look really scary, you're gonna go and you're not gonna take a makeup wipe. You're gonna go to the sink and you're gonna use water to wipe all this off, okay? Which I'm gonna go and do right now. Be sloppy. Be sloppy with it. Don't sloppy. Okay. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is halfway through. I'm not done. I look like a crazy person. But you see what I mean? by how this is like, just with water, it's kind of like I'm putting watercolor like on my eyes. You want it to do this, okay? If you wanna leave it like this, throw on a red lip, get out there, girl. But we want this to be more subtle. So uh, if you're going for like that high voltage runway look, keep it like this. Today we're doing every day. So uh, this is what it should be doing when you're uh, splashing your face with water. If it's not doing this, 
use a product that does do this. I used Sephora and Mac and milk. So at your discretion, just keep going until you like it. Okay. I'm going to leave again. Okay. So this is what I was happy with. This is the stage of decay that I was happy with. Feel free to take off more if you're not comfortable with this, but this is, this is what I'm recommending. This stage of the eye. You have this really nice kind of like grayish uh, residue going on. So that's what you want. And you cut, you do want it to look sloppy, okay? So now that your eyes are perfect, we're gonna do our eyebrows. Cause Lord knows I look like a total raccoon. I need something going on up here. You are going to choose a relatively off putting color for your eyebrows. Ideally something that's close to your shade, but just a little too warm uh, or too cold. Something in the wrong direction that's just not quite there. So for this one, I'm using Brunette, which is from L'Oreal. And my eyebrows are ash. So I'm using something that like is almost, almost quite there. And just fill those boys in. Okay, now that your eyebrows match the rest of your face a little bit more, you are going to, now that your eyes are also probably dry, you're going to put on mascara, reapply it, and kind of just cake it on there a little bit because you washed a lot of it off whenever you were in the bathroom. So just reapply whatever you washed off, add some drama. Try not to use lashes for this. You can if you want, but for this look, it's supposed to emanate laziness. You know what I mean? So go for the quick mascara swipe like you are in your car on the way to Dunkin' Donuts for that overly sugary coffee that you desperately need because you're hungover and you just stopped at the stoplight to do your lashes. Okay, that's what we're doing here. If you wanna go the extra mile and do your lashes in the car with the glue and everything and kind of like mess it up a little bit and it looks kind of wonky, that I'll condone, that I find permissible. So now that you've got, you know, your eyelashes done, they're back on there, we're gonna do a little bit of unnecessary concealer. Too much of it, that one's necessary. Put a lot of it on, okay? Especially underneath your eye area, okay? You want it to be kind of cakey. If you want to, you can put a little bit of like powder on your face or something. If you want to go for like that cover girl, like 90s cover girl look, by all means, but a little bit of unnecessarily caked on concealer under the eyes is perfect for this look. Next, to even it all out, you just want to take a nice little, little dab. Get some color in there. You know, smooth out any of the edges. Looking cute. Next, I always, 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 always require glitter for trashy looks. You want the glitter to look like you wash it off your face. So just a little here, whatever glitter you like. A little bit there, a little under there. A little up here maybe. Maybe a little on the eyebrow, right? Get it on like your eyelashes, you know? Like this is, if there's any time to be sloppy with your makeup, it's right now. If, it's, if this is not a walk of shame, <laughs> uh, a walk of shame look. This is definitely like you just went out drinking, like day drinking and you're about to take a nap and then like go out later in the evening. This is, this is the look. All right, so now that the eyes are finally done, you got a little bit of a rosy cheek, you've got excessive concealer. Now it's time to do your lips, okay? What I recommend is a kind of swollen looking lip or lips that look like you just made out with somebody for a while. So I would take a color that's two or three times darker than your lip color. Something that isn't like, if you wanna go out and use like a kind of red, go ahead. Um, I would suggest for this, like a pink, like a nice pinkish color. Um, don't use nude, use something that has like pigment, um, like 
it looks like the pigment of your lips and just go on there like i said you don't gotta be perfect at all okay okay just apply it then take your fingers and you are going to do that buff it out aggressively use whatever color i just suggest a color such as this after you have done that I would suggest just cleaning it up a little bit. You don't wanna look like you just like ate some food or like a, you don't want it to look like you just put on like a bunch of chapstick like all over your lips and it looks ridiculous. Just make sure that you like have fading going on. You want it to fray, you want it to look like buffed out. So just clean it up a little bit with your fingers, of course. And then if you want, go back in there. <laughs> Go back in there and add, add some more. Get it the way you want. An alternative to this lip is just doing a little bit of pink on the inside, like you just had like Kool-Aid or like an Icy or something like that. Like you just went to like a gas station and got like a food coloring disaster of a drink. That's kind of what you want. If, like, honest to God, if you want something like green or blue or something, like a blue tongue, oh God, that is like, that is the finishing touch. Like a lollipop, like something that's like absurdly green, absurdly blue or purple or even like red or something and go and do that and have your tongue be like that color. That, I don't have any such thing in my house, but if I did, I would do that for this video. <laughs> do that. So rough your hair up a bit put your hoops in hoops of your choice there's some really great earrings at the dollar store and take on the day lindsay lohan didn't go to jail like 50 times for you to not succeed at this look make lindsay lohan proud make pamela proud make all of our bimboy trashy hot mess goddesses proud and get some gum gone push up bra yeah okay i have been so excited to do this video okay i experimented with this look in college um i would do my eyeliner with that sephora brand liquid liner right and of course that shit does not stay on and uh it would like bleed into my skin and then i would go and wash it off and i'd be like why is this better? Like, this is actually cute. I like it. Like, we're, we're talking like Miley Cyrus, Rolling Stones, but even better. I'm so excited to have shared this with everybody because I think it's such a fun look and it's one of the only looks where you don't have to be picture perfect. If you've been on this channel for a while and you've seen my other makeup videos, you'll know that I like being kind of unexpected and messy with my makeup. I, I like imperfections with makeup, so uh feel free to just let out your laziness and let out your imperfections in this and you know look like this <laughs> anyway i hope you liked this look i hope you had fun with it uh i hope you didn't take anything too seriously i love trashy looks i hope you do too and uh i'll see you guys next week please like and subscribe and tell your friends, uh, invite them over, you know, and uh, do this makeup look with them. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.